For anyone who lives outside the U.S., or maybe you may know it, there is a tomb at Arlington National Cemetery which is dedicated to unknown soldiers of the many wars the United States has been a part of. For example, World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. It's called Tomb of the Unknown Soldier as there are about three soldiers buried there who are sadly unknown. No one knows their identities, but they fought for their country, making the ultimate sacrifice in this tomb is to remember them and others. And as tradition, the president or a representative who placed wreath on the site on Memorial Day and Veterans Day as to pay respect. But let's not stick around in the introduction to talk about it and go right into it. Here is the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier from the War Abroad category in Store of America cards. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is a historic funerary monument dedicated to deceased U.S. service members whose remains have not been identified. It is located in Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia, United States. The World War I Unknown is a recipient of the Medal of Honor, the Victoria Cross, and several other foreign nation, nation's highest award, service awards. The U.S. Unknowns who were interred are also recipients of the Medal of Honor presented by U.S. presidents who presided over their funerals. The monument has no official designated name. In 1921, three years after the end of World War I, six American soldiers who were serving with the occupation forces in Germany arrived at chalons sur made France. A U.S. Army colonel met them outside a local chapel and announced, Men, it is my task to choose one of you to perform a great and sacred duty. In his hands, he held a bouquet of roses. Then turning to Sergeant Edward Younger, one of the six soldiers, the colonel said, In this church are four caskets. Go into the church, put a rose on one of the caskets. That's all. Younger walked it into the chapel, walked it around the caskets three times, and suddenly stopped. He believed he heard a voice that seemed to say, This is a pal of yours. Younger put one rose on the coffin in front of him and walked it out into the sunlight. That was how the unknown soldier of World War I was selected. His body was brought to Washington, D.C. shortly after that to lay in state and on the same catafalque, a shroud-covered pedestal, first used when President Abraham Lincoln was assassinated in 1865. Later, the unknown soldier's body was placed in a tomb on the plaza of Arlington Memorial Amphitheater. This shrine is located in Arlington National Cemetery, Virginia, and is now known as the Tomb of the Unknowns, together with the body of the World War II one, I mean the World War I soldier victim, or soldiers from World War II and the Korean War. In 1926, Congress commissioned sculptor Thomas Houston Jones and architect Laurie Moore Rich to design a white marble block with Doric pillars on the sides and corners. The figures on the east face of the monument symbolize valor, victory, and peace. On the opposite side towards the amphitheater is a simple inscription. Here rests in honor, glory, and American soldier known but to God. The last stone of the memorial was set in place on December 31st, 1931, and the public viewed the tomb on April 9th, 1932. A special guard of honor maintains a day and night veil over the tomb. Members of the tomb guard are assigned to the honor guard company of the 1st Battle Group, 3rd Infantry. The old guard. They must meet rigid qualifications, 
present an outstanding solitary appearance, and stand between 5'10 and 6'2 tall. During those hours when the, ceremony, when the cemetery is open to the public, there is a formal changing of the guard on the honor. And that's all on the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Wars Abroad's category in the Story of America cards. So, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from it, and I'll see you next time in the next card I review or other stuff I do. So bye.